Today on this grain line, I'm going to be showing you how to make my butterscotch pretzel cookies. Chewy chocolate chip cookies, butterscotch morsels and salty pretzels. All of these things combined make something really special and delicious. I'm going to show you just how easy they are to make right now. Let's begin with our dry ingredients. So I'm going to add my flour some baking soda and some salt into a medium sized mixing bowl and we're just going to whisk those up to combine them really really well. So I've got some softened butter here, it was in the fridge but I just popped it in the microwave for about 5 or 10 seconds just to soften it a little bit. It's going to make creaming this so much easier. To that I'm going to add some granulated sugar and some brown sugar, the brown sugar is going to help make these cookies chewier, which is, I think cookies should be chewy. We're also going to add a little bit of vanilla extract in there. Now today we are going to be using my handy electric hand mixer and we're going to mix this up on medium speed until it's nice and pale and creamy. If you don't have one of these you can do it by hand with a wooden spoon. You're going to get a workout. Low speed guys, always low speed. All right, so that's nice and pale and creamy. I'm gonna add one egg in here and we're gonna mix this until it's really well combined. All right, so let's grab our dry ingredients from earlier on. We're gonna add half of those to the wet ingredients and we're gonna use our spatula to mix everything together until it's really well combined. Guys, I would love you to tell me what is your favourite cookie flavour because I would love to know because I'd love to make it. So leave your favourite cookie flavour down in the comments down below and I'll be reading your comments when this video goes up. Alright, so that's nice and mixed in and it's formed a dough. Let's add the rest of our dry ingredients and we're going to mix that until that's all well combined. Right, so you can see that that's formed a dough. Now this mixture is actually on the soft side, so it's completely normal. The fun part and what makes these cookies so amazing is the butterscotch choc chip morsels. Now if you can't find these where you are, if you can find the Reese's version of these, which is the peanut butter flavoured ones, those are also incredible. Otherwise you can just leave them out and just use the choc chips and the salty pretzels and it's just as good. Now these pretzels are just like pretzels out of a packet and I just chopped them up with a knife. So we're going to pop those in there and those pretzels add this really gorgeous saltiness to these cookies. The flavour combination is incredible guys and again this smells so good. Let's mix all of that until it's well combined. I'm going to be using a cookie scoop today to scoop my batter out of the bowl and onto a baking tray which I've lined with a silicon baking mat. You can use baking paper if you don't have one of these. We're going to be adding six of these cookies on each tray. We're going to be popping these in the oven for about eight to ten minutes and they're going to go nice and golden around the outside. And then once they finished baking I want to show you how to finish them off. Hey guys, quickly popping into the video to make sure that you're enjoying watching this video. If you are, please hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell to make sure that you're notified when there's a new video. Back to this video. Oh my goodness, guys. It is, smells so amazing in my kitchen. Um, okay, so to finish these off, they've just come out of the oven. I'm just going to grab like two pieces of chopped pretzels and these cookies are still soft enough so that when we put them in here, they kind of like sink in. Two random bits of butterscotch chips and then you want to do two chocolate chips. Now you want to work quickly here because I'm going to show you the last step before we let these cool down completely and you want to do it while these cookies are still really really soft. All right now I have a regular metal cookie cutter here. You want to make sure it's metal because the plastic ones might melt. And we're just going to be placing it over the top of our cookie and then just kind of wiggling it around and what this is going to do is it's going to help make these cookies a little bit rounder and these, I mean you don't have to do it but because these have like chunky bits of filling in them they tend to like 
bake kind of lop shaped. So this just makes them look a little bit prettier. We're gonna let these cool down completely. And then you wanna put them on a cooling rack to cool down to room temperature. And I'm gonna come back and taste them once they're cooled. Do you wanna know what my kitchen smells like, guys? Just like pure deliciousness. These cookies are, I'm gonna admit, I've had maybe like one or two or seven of these already off camera, but I know that I need to try these on camera and I'm more than willing to have another one. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These taste so good. Chocolate chips, salty pretzels, chewy cookies and the butterscotch morsels. It's just so delicious. And you saw how easy these were to make. So if you wanna try these cookies for yourself, the recipe is in the description box below for you guys to try it. Please tag me on social media if you do try it, because I'd love to see your lovely creations. And as always, if you've got suggestions on the next recipe video you'd love to see on the scram line, leave your comments down below. I'm gonna join you guys down there. Also, I have another video playing over there for you guys to watch, so click on that. I've got loads of really delicious, yummy cookie recipes. Above that is also the subscribe button. Subscribing on this channel is free, and I would love for you guys to help me grow this baking community. Thank you so much. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these, probably all of them, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scramline. Bye.